Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Civilization V Brave New World as Austria. We are in the midst of uh, getting ready to start building the Terracotta Army Wonder. And in the, while we're doing that, we're going to want to build as many unique types of units as possible, which is going to be very challenging to get as many as possible out on the playing field. We were able to get the Great Library in the, next, in the last episode, which was awesome. That certainly... I mean, helped us. We got a free library out of that, so that's maintenance free, so that makes a lot of sense. Okay, so we got the windmill done here, that's perfect. And Badabush, it's 14 turns only for the Terracotta army. Really? 14 turns, it's turn 52. It's turn 66. Okay, so we might actually put it on hold once we get close to it and build a spearman, because spearmen should be built pretty quickly. Then all I'll have to do is purchase a composite bowman, because we're doing the chariot archer here. I'll have to purchase a composite bowman and a um, catapult. Now, a catapult is 390 if I remember correctly. That's really expensive. What we're going to have to do is once we get another copy of salt, I think... Do we have a declared, uh, whatchamacallit, friendship thing with uh, Stockholm? Yes, we do, because oh, we could grab money. Color. So that's what I'm going to do. Actually, I almost feel like doing it now. Full set. We don't have happiness problems right now. We're going to be getting another salt soon. I don't want you to actually get rid of your money. Actually, this is perfect. 120 plus 3 is exact, exactly what uh, 7 gold per turn would give you, plus an extra 6. Are you going to give me all of that, actually? I'm going to do it. We don't have happiness problems right now. I don't mind trading my last piece of salt. I, actually, hang on. <laughs> do we have happiness problems? No, we're at 9 happiness. And we're going to be getting salt connected ex oh, like really yeah, soon, yeah. like in the next few turns. And I don't want you losing your money, because the AI tends to have money one turn and have no money the next turn, and then have like a million money the next turn. I mean, it's just all over the place. Let's do that. Let's do it. You'll accept, right? 126? Right? 120 divided by, um, by 30 would be 4 or something. Yeah, that's 4. So that's 4 gold per turn. Plus the three gold per turn. So that's yeah, that's it. That's exactly what seven gold per turn would give you. So do it. You accept it as well. Nice. So now we're at 442. Awesome. We're down to five happiness, but that's no big deal. Let's start moving this guy over here. Normally I would steal workers, but we already have two. We don't really need another worker. We've already pretty much improved everything we wanted to in our uh, capital right now. Uh, we're working on calendar right now. Let's do that. We're doing calendar, then we're going to do bronze working and mathematics. Did we grow? We did grow. Why are you here? No, go here. Actually, do we want the money right now? Hmm. What does this do? 11 turns to next growth. Instead of 14. I kind of like that more. We're going to do that. The extra 2 gold per turn times 10 would be an extra 20 gold provided it takes 10 turns it's 14 turns uh, maybe the money actually makes more sense you know what I think I'll go for the money normally I wouldn't do this but yeah that extra 2 plus we're going to improve this in 3 turns oh, plus the time it takes to build it but uh, no, I'm going to do that actually I think that will net us an extra 20 gold that might be the difference maker Perhaps. We'll find out, I guess. Uh, our apologies, mademoiselle. We shall not do that anymore. Although we are plotting to kill you very soon. But don't tell her that. That's our little secret. China must go down. Alright, what do we got here? We got cities and stuff. So we still have one more AI to try to locate. So you're done. Oh, why did I go in the sheep? It's not the sheep I wanted. It's there, but it doesn't matter. We're just getting you ready. Plop you there. 12 turns away. We're turn 54. Wow, this is... We're definitely going to do it. We're definitely going to do it. Really, the, the bottom line, though, is how many units are we going to have out on the field by the time we're ready to build it, though? That is the challenging million-dollar question. Or not a challenging question, so but a, a, uh, a million-dollar question. Yeah. With the challenge and with the challenge within or something. I'm gonna stop talking because I have no idea what the f 
bridge I'm babbling about right now. I'm very excited though. This is like a very good start and my plan is about to unfold itself in 11 turns and I don't know man, it's all it's all crazy right now. Let's go ahead, we're going to get an extra gold out of this so that's not too bad. How long does it take? 5 turns to build? Actually, we're, that's going to give us a good amount of turns at 3 gold per turn so that's definitely going to help us. Do we have another, oh no we didn't, yeah we got the salt connected but we don't, uh, no, we don't have it connected yet actually. Right, influences the king. Yeah, well, what can I do? Oh, we were getting a bulk of our happiness from that, though. Oh, crap, I didn't even realize that. We could have fallen in negative happiness, which would have uh, screwed us slightly, actually. But we should be getting the salt here soon, right? Where are you? Uh, worker. Yeah, two turns away, so there we go. I'm just going to have to remember not to sell that copy, though, because the AI will prompt to uh, to ask for it. Unit needs orders. I'm actually just going to uh, bring you here. I'm just going to park you there for now. Oh, crap. What's going on here? All right. Ooh, you got a you got an army too there, bro. Not a very strong one, but uh, an army nonetheless. Oh, my God. 14 turns away. This is 10 turns away. We're going to have to switch, though. We're going to stop it and get the spearmen, but I have to get this chariot archer out too, though. You're going to grow in three turns. Yeah, lock you here. I was going to say, are you not working the salt? Next turn. Statue of Zeus. Right. That's usually a pretty good one to get. Actually, I forget what it does. Where's the Statue of Zeus? There we go. Statue of Zeus requires honor. All units gain 15% combat strength when attacking cities. Cool. That's a, I mean, if you're going to go the, uh, the combat route, that's also a good one. But I prefer the Terracotta Army. The odds of getting both are probably very slim. Especially if you try to go for the uh, the Great Library. But, uh, I mean, the Statue of Zeus is already a good one. Who took that one? Or, damn it, I didn't pay attention. That that's, that means someone went Honor. We're going to have to keep that in mind. We're going to have to go Honor, too, at some point. Really, I'm going to do Tradition. I don't know if I mentioned this. I'm going to go Tradition, Honor. Uh, grab the first one in Commerce. Or just Unlock Commerce. Unlock Rationalism. Do a lot in rationalism. I don't care about patronage because we're going to be diplomatic marrying our city-states. So we just really have to get them to allied once. Wait five turns. Take them for an X amount of money. And that'll be it. That's why the great merchants will be very interesting. <clears throat> Actually, money will be very important for us. Maybe I'll pursue the commerce tree as well. Rationalism, commerce, honor, and tradition, and then whatever ideology. I Actually, we're probably going to go autocracy, which to me has the best military stuff in there. So... We're going to be doing that. So what are you doing? You, d you did the salt. Good. Um, where to go next, though? You're going to plop here in two turns. Well, you might as well start making your way there, actually. And you can park yourself here. You're going to just alert. All right. Let's just keep moving down there. Next turn. Bronze working. Right. So we could buy the spearman. No, we're going to build the spearman. You've grown. Good. Uh, actually, we'll put you in production for one for one turn. Just to speed things up here. Six turns now. Yeah, good. We're going to get this. No problemo. Nice. Okay. <clears throat> you can come here now and wait one turn. There we go. Go ahead and alert. We will not be upgrading you just yet. We're going to be holding off just a bit. Actually, our money's getting there. Our money's definitely getting there. Uh, when are you going to plop this thing? Four turns. Cool. So by the time this is done, this should be ready. And we'll get an another salt. Now, we're not friends with anybody else. We don't have a joint uh, declaration of friendship, so we won't be able to trade for f a flat amount of money. But uh, at least gold per turn should help us. Right? We're six turns away from the catapult, which we're going to rush build. <sighs> it's going to be tricky, man. This is going to its going to be very interesting, and it's happening very soon. That's why I, my, my turns are taking a little bit longer. It's because I, I want to make sure I don't, I don't fuck this up. That would really suck. Oh, my God. Really? You're the last guy, you? Ah, oh, Solomon, you. Me and Solomon, we don't get along, me and him. You don't even have writing yet. What? The fuck is wrong with you, Solomon? But look at all, he's always rich. And he's always pushing his religion. That's what bothers me the most. He's always, always pushing his religion. Like, he drives me nuts with his religion thing, actually. 
All right, well, Solomon's in the game, folks, and I, I can't find out where his capital is because he doesn't even have freaking writing yet. Turn 60, he doesn't have freak. Found a Pantheon, really? That happened? Oh, well, son of a bitch. Okay, well, I'm going to go Earth Mother because we have a lot of salt. In my, in, in my uh, last series, I got blasted for taking Earth Mother because uh, everybody's like, well, you should have taken Folklore or Desert Folk Folklore because... You know, you have a lot of desert tiles, and fine, they were correct. I did a, I did a mistake in that one. I should have definitely had gone with the uh, desert folklore. Is it called desert folklore? Uh, yeah, folklore. There we go. Um, because we had a lot of desert tiles. Now I don't plan on settling near desert, right? There's a lot of desert here. That's fucking far away. We're not. That's not gonna happen. Um, really, I mean, this is all we have, desert tiles. I mean, I could settle here eventually. Actually, there's some more here. But honestly, we got salt here, salt here, salt here, salt here. That's four salts. That's four happiness right there. Um, we don't have iron. Iron's over here. That's not to say that we're not going to have iron in our other cities eventually, because we plan on puppeting so many cities. And usually city-states have iron. That's like a thing they always have. That are horses. See, there's iron here. That'll give us faith. I mean, that's going to be strong. Plus, there's always the outside chance there's copper somewhere in the game. Yeah. Desert folklore. I always want to take something that gives me faith. Two faith from quarry is not going to happen. Two faith each gem and pearls we don't have. Uh, what else? Gold and silver. Actually, we'll have a fair amount of those as well. Eventually, right? No, you, yeah, you have silver, you have gold, and I know you have gold. You have gold. Oh, wait, no, we're not going to be grabbing these two, though. That's right. Oh, you know, fuck that, people. <laughs> I'm going Earth Mother. If I get blasted for it, I get blasted for it. I'm a big boy, I can handle it. Here we go, Earth Mother it is. It's my favorite one, I don't know why. I got, I, there was one game where it made so much sense to get it to get it ever since then it's like yeah earth mother as soon as i see salt in my game earth mother must go earth mother but uh anyways we'll see uh, we'll see if people blast me for it um uh, right you're done this good so start making your way to the salt we're gonna go ahead and get the salt salt is good i'm not fucking up here am i yeah three gold per turn now i had a game once where i, I <laughs> for the longest time i had an unemployed uh, guy, because I always manually control things, and since then I'm always scared that I've accidentally done this and closed the city. There's no way of knowing. You know, you're, you've just screwed yourself. Actually, you go here, so go back. There we go. Anyways, next turn. Six turns away, and I have to remember to actually put a stop to this before we get it, though. We're actually, we're doing this so quickly, though. Holy crap it is. Five turns away, turn 61, 66. Yeah, we got plenty of time. Turn 70 was the goal. Pretty sure we'll be okay. I hope so, anyways. That would suck, actually. We found another city-state. We didn't find you? I thought we had found you. Oh, well. Or we passed underneath him. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, fuck. Right, you know what I'm going to do right now? Since we need one anyways? Comps at Bowman. I'm gonna go kill this guy off right now. Is that a quest? Please be a quest. No, you want a stupid trade route. Fine, we'll kill him anyways, because he's gonna come and plunder shit, and that's gonna really annoy me. And if he pops out, he can't do anything. Okay, next turn. Stonehenge has been built. You come here. Normally I would go now, but it's too risky. I'm gonna wait one turn. Right, so you're trapped here. We're just going to walk through the, the thing. I don't really care. Um, anything I'm forgetting? No. Let's go ahead next turn. We're four turns away. I'm going to have to keep them. Accept Embassy the Escher. Why not? We already knew where you were, though. I didn't need to do it, but it helps with the relations, though. Golden Age! Holy shit, that's actually uh, pretty good timing for the Golden Age. Not sure where to go next. I don't know if I should come back down here to check what Isabella's doing, or should I just come down here? Like, look, there's land here now. I'm gonna come down there. This is probably where, uh, what's his face, uh, Solomon is. Solomon! Freaking guy, he's so annoying. I hate him. I hate him so much. Alright, you, move here. Take shoot. Take a shoot. You, connect these. 
I don't know why I speak this way. One turn away from the Chariot Archer. Nice. Three turns away from this. Nice. You know what I'm going to do before I forget? Show Q. At the Q. Spearman's only three turns. Back. Up U1. Close. Because I'm going to forget. And if I forget, that's fucked up. So now we're going to get a Spearman out of here. Oh, man, though. No. Yeah, no, hang on. How am I gonna get to? Uh, how am I gonna get to 390 gold? We're gonna have to pull it up. Oh my god, this is gonna be so close. Actually, a barbarian encampment will give me money. What's this? Temple of Artemis. Don't fucking scare me like that. What's this? Salt to Pakal has ended. No, no, Pakal, get back. Get your ass back here, my my favorite guy. You. Where are you? Trade. Right, you got tons of cash. Done. You know what I'm gonna do? Cause I'm scared. Oops, you actually probably want the salt too, eh? <laughs> um, I might sell my only copy of um, Incense to, to you. Oh, you got nothing oh, right now. Man, Fuck. Fuck me. Now we might be okay, we might be able to get the, the encampment. Two turns away from the encampment. We should be okay, that'll be 25 gold. Timing is not perfect on this one. I'm getting scared. All right, so we got everything we needed. Bronze working, blah, 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 blah. Now, trapping would probably make sense. No, sailing first. Trapping. Philosophy. Mm, no, I'm going to want horsemen first. Sailing. Horsemen. Philosophy. Currency. That's the that's the queue up for this this part of the tickage. We don't really need optics. Although, the, we will want a lighthouse. Actually, we will want optics soon after. Ah, fuck it. I'll queue it up after we've done uh, currency. It's good. I mean, the lighthouse is nice. Plus, we get an extra... Allows units in bark. Allows units which enter friendly territory gain this ability, right? No, I thought it gave us an, an extra trade route, but uh, it does not. Okay, choose production. The, the whatchamacallit's been built. So now we're going to do the shrine. I've, oh, fuck, I forgot. I forgot to move you here. We don't need you on the production anymore. Let's bring you back to the uh, salt. Move this guy here. So we've got some units. Now it's going to be almost impossible to upgrade this guy anytime soon, though. Ah, I need just a little bit more money to pull this off. See, that's the problem. If we didn't do the great library, I could have gotten all the units I need. No problemo. That's the only drawback. But... Great library is very strong, so. I mean, we're still managing. We're still going to have a few units out here. Oh, it's still turned six. It's still turned 64 only. 66. Oh, I can hold off a little while longer, though. Four, five. I'm going to have to hold off basically, well, pretty much five turns. Maybe four if we can get 25 gold from this thing. Four turns. That puts us at turn 68. That's not too bad. Gems for salt, you say. Let me get back to you on that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're funny. Oh, you got your embassy now. Propose that. Oh, there you are. No, there's no point in doing anything with you right now. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm getting a little bit, uh, a little bit concerned here as to what I'm going to do. What's this? Ottoman, whatever. Ottomans, whatever. Spain, whatever. The leaders of whatever. Whatever, all of yous. Four turns away for Groat here. You know what, I'm going to actually bring you back here. Maybe build a mine here for extra production. This is going to be a production place. I don't know if I mentioned it already, now that I'm thinking of it. Lumber mill is here to get extra production. Production. We still get a decent amount of food. I can probably build some standard horsemen pretty quickly out of this place. I'm going to build a barracks so that they can come out of there with experience. Yeah, that could work out pretty well. Shoot this guy. Nice. I wish I had another unit. Can this guy go in there? Yes, he can. Oh, man. Sweet. 25 gold. So, yes. Oh. Okay. Next. I'm going to have to remember next turn not to fuck up. Oh, maybe I'm still scared, though. Please don't build the thing. What if I have like an excess amount of hammers that are going to carry over and then build? Show Q. At the Q. 
Granary is definitely what I want to do next anyways. Back. Granary. Keep the queue open. I don't want to finish the Granary. I just don't want to build a Terracotta Army. Oh, there's still three turns left to it. No, it was one turn... What? Oh, there's still three turns left to it. Oh, shit, no. Granary. I thought there was one turn left. I thought I had unqueued it with one turn left. Okay, never mind. That changes everything. Okay, keep keep it the way it is. Alright, you move here. Uh, next turn. Oh, fuck, I had salt to sell. I forgot. Crap. Uh, Solomon, you have a lot of money. There's one thing you have a lot of is money. So let's go ahead and do that for, for some, uh, whatchamacallit. And sell my last copy that I know. I'm at 10 happiness. Salt incense. Yeah, that's fine. Turn 66. Two turns away from Terracotta Army. We got the spearmen. We might as well start. Actually, I'll keep him down here. We'll walk him over here. We'll bring them guys here. Now, let's take a quick look at uh, Beijing here. There's some rivers. Attacking from this side makes sense, and attacking from up here makes sense. But I don't mind having my melee guys here. They just defend. They won't actually attack the city. Damn it, she's got a fucking wall. Crap, that's going to make things a lot harder now. Ugh. It's going to be an epic battle. I can sense it already. <laughs> it won't happen this turn, uh, this episode, though. Go back here, finish that. You, Composite Bowman, you've done what you had to do, which is very nice of you. But you might as well start walking. Walking this way. Unit needs orders. Yeah, you come ahead and go here. Uh, next turn. Ah, oh, yes! This is beautiful timing! Don't build a Terracotta army, anybody. Okay, we got sailing. One turn away. We got 400 gold. Yes. Purchase catapult. It worked out, man. It worked out. My plan worked. This is exactly how I envisioned it because I had to go for the Great Library. This is great. So we're going to get a, an extra of all of these. An extra basic archer, an extra warrior, an extra chariot archer, an extra catapult, an extra spearman, an extra composite bowman. So we'll have two standard archers that we can then re-upgrade to composite bowmen. That makes an epic army. The terracotta army, man, is so freaking sweet. Oh, man, is it sweet. It's sweet stuff. You go ahead and do this. Do a farm. Oh, I had a... Oh, yeah, I'll do a farm. I wanted to do a mine, but yeah, you're a river, so you can do a farm. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, the extra food will be worth it. Plus, it'll be two food at some point, so definitely worth doing. Two and two is actually a pretty good tile. Two food, two production. So I guess I decided to go this way without even realizing, even though I said I was going to go the other way. You go ahead and finish this. You start moving up here. Actually, we're going to bring you that way, but uh, you can start walking this way. Might, might as well get you close. Uh, how long has this episode been coming on? Okay, well, you know what? It's going to be perfect time. We'll put a cut to this episode once we get the, uh, whatchamacallit. You guys might as well start marching, I guess. Next turn, Terracotta Army. Everything is beautiful. Shkadaboosh, baby. Yes. Oh, plus we get a social policy. We're going to get extra growth now. Yes. Oh, that... Honestly, I, can't, I cannot have asked for a better start, really, than this. This is this one takes the cake. It would be great if I could upgrade you right now. Do I wait? I might as well wait, actually. Although, you might as well do this, though. Alright, not much more for you to do over here. Composite Bowman. I'll move here. Since this guy can move fast, we'll bring him up. Because it's very narrow here. It's going to be slow moving. Oh man, I wish I could... Uh, oh no, I can't plunder a trade. You must be able to declare war... Oh man, I could plunder this fucking route. But if I plunder this route, it's a route towards me. <laughs> so if I declare war, that route ceases to exist. So it doesn't matter. That's funny. You know what we're going to do with this archer? Actually, we're going to keep him here though. I don't need three of them over there. I'd like to keep an archer over here, just to keep things uh, stable. We'll, you know, we'll we'll get this guy to uh, to a composite bowman. Actually, this scout, this scout's just costing me money. How much money would you give me? Six gold, and we'll go up to twenty gold per turn now. 
20 gold per turn, nice. Yeah, I don't need another scout, really. It's a Pangea. We have, one scout's more than enough. We don't need that guy. It's just costing us money for nothing. Uh, right, you might as well move here. Move you in the back and have this guy come first. You guys can move here. We're going to keep you here just for now. Uh, we're working on the granary. That's what I want to do, actually. Show Q, hide Q. So we're going to do the granary. I want a trireme. I want a cargo ship. I want a work boat. I don't really need to settle just yet because we're going to be taking over Beijing. I don't want to fuck up our happiness. We're going to keep this puppeted, obviously, for quite some time, actually. Uh, diplomatic marriage uh, eventually. Some city states for more puppeted cities. Really, the world is our oyster as Austria. <laughs> it's uh, it's pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool indeed. So yeah, granary. I'll probably do the um, the trireme after, then the cargo ship, and then the workboat. Not, I don't feel too rushed for the workboat to be quite honest. Oh yeah, absolutely. Lock yourself here. Absolutely. Next turn. <clears throat> Actually, we're at six uh, man, uh, six mana, six faith per turn, which is awesome. And you've grown again. Well, a lot, the freaking da, bro. Yeah, lock here. Absolutely. And you've finished building a shrine. Nice. <clears throat> we'll do the library now. Because once this is built, and we puppet the other cities, we'll be able to do the National College whenever we're ready, which I will definitely prioritize. Start moving. Start moving. You can come back here. You. Yeah, you can move here. You can start coming back. You guys, eh? Right. I'm gonna move you here. Oh, I might as well bring you guys, I guess. Put you here, though. Got a lot of units, man. That's crazy. That's crazy the amount of units we have right now for this stage of the game. Turn 69. It's not even turn 70. I could not have asked for a better, uh, better outcome. Seriously. It helps that our three ancient runes were totally awesome, though. <coughs> Yeah, I don't want you guys to move in too far. Uh, we're going to flank. I'd like them to come from behind, actually. That would have been my ideal spot. We're not going to kill this city. I don't want to get too many extreme warmongering penalties. Did you settle here, too? Oh, shit. That's fucking crazy. That's fine. You can move here. And uh, you know what? It's time for a cut in this episode. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you all next time.